back out on the hill again. Looks like the whole crew is going to show up today. There is Silvano over there. Jeff is up there somewhere. There's James and David's on his way. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff today. A 142 at five inches. Whatever it is, that's it. That's all right. I'm not sure what that is. Who knows? 11 12 at 3 inches. That's a pretty good nickel signal. There it is, it is a nickel. I think that's going to be a buffalo nickel. It says Nova Cola, Rome, Georgia. They spelled Cola K-O-L-A. Too bad that one's not whole. That would have been a good one. Never even heard of that. Right, Jeff's maiden voyage with the Mine Lab Equinox 800. He just got it, what, two or three days ago? Came in on Monday. Just got it Monday, and the first time out with it, he gets his third silver ever, or third silver coin ever, and a tax token. I'd say you and the Equinox are going to get along just fine. I believe so. What is that, a 39? 39. Awesome. Cool. I just got what was a trashy sounding signal right here. It sounded like something big, but I just popped out a war nickel and I've got I still got a good signal here. So I figure we'll do a live dig and see what else is in here with it. We'll put the nickel right there. Hopefully we got a coin spill here. Yeah, look at there. Several coins there. Those are just going to be, looks like wheat pennies. Put those over there. Hopefully some silver. There's another one. That's going to be a buffalo nickel there. Yep. Anything else? Yep. Yeah, a silver quarter. Be a Washington 44. Come on, let's keep going. There we go. Looks like might be another wheat penny. Yeah, that's a wheat. Any more? So that's a pretty good little coin spill there. Buffalo nickel, a war nickel, a uh, silver Washington, and three wheat pennies. Not bad. Uh oh. Alright, I'll get back up and scan it again with the detector just to make sure there's not any more. There we go.
up, so that's going to be another wheat penny, I believe. Yep, another wheat set. Get it one more time. And looks like that's it. Eleven forty six, eleven forty seven, that sounds nice. Possible silver quarter right here. Right in the middle of a bunch of roots. See if we can pinpoint it. It's right in there. I'm about 99.9% .9 positive this is going to be silver. If I can get to it, it seems to be up under that root. Right up under those roots. Maybe not, maybe it's on top of them. There we go, look at that. Silver quarter, what is it, a Washington? Yeah, I think that's gonna be a Washington. Yep. It's like a 41. Just got that on a 1235 signal. Not really sure what it is. Looks like some kind of little fancy clamp. Who knows? Something to look up later, I guess. Twelve thirty-three at two inches. Probably a shotgun shell. No? What is that? It's like some kind of tag or something. Check that out. Wow, looks like that's probably been there for a minute. Throw it into the tree. There's a 1036, which is in the Indian Head Penny range. Nice tight signal, it sounds like a coin. Of course, it could be a bullet, too. There we go. I think that is an Indian. Yep, that's an Indian head. 
see if I can get a date off of it. I think it's going to be either an 1884 or an 1894. Pretty nice view up here. No wonder people like to spend time up here back in the day. I'm kind of surprised I hadn't found more Civil War relics. Thirteen forty-four. Sun's glaring off of it. Twelve forty-four. Could it be a silver? I've noticed that all of the older coins seem to be coming from back here on the far side of the hill, up towards the road. There, I've been getting the Washingtons and Mercs and the newer stuff. So maybe this is an old one. It is a silver, but it's not a not an old one, or at least not extremely old. Some mercury. And it looks like the date is uh, 1918. So it's pretty old. That's an old one right there. Cork top and it's got that purple color to it. So that's definitely been here for a while. I'd like to have had that one whole. It's a nice sounding nickel signal. 11, 12, 5 inches. Most of the nickels I've found up here have been pretty old. More V nickels than anything. One shield nickel, a couple of war nickels, and I think either three or four V nickels. And a buffalo. And that's going to be another V nickel. Let me get my glasses on and see if I can get a date. Looks like uh, 1903 or 1908. This signal actually sounded really junky, but it turned out to be an old pocket watch. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. It's just the outer rim of it. Oh, there's the front. It just came off. Thank you.